If you check your own credit report, does it impact your credit scores? Uh, yes. Yes, because I've heard that it does. Yep. I think so, yeah. Not her. If I you go check do. your credit score, like, a lot, like, your credit score will, like, go down. Go down, and then sometimes it'll go back up. Yes, because they're basically saying you should know it already. And when you check it, it means that you're not sure and that maybe something's wrong. So just like, oh, this person doesn't pay attention, so I'm going to mark them down. Yeah, no, maybe. No. Nope. Checking your own credit report will not affect credit scores. What is considered a good credit score? Like numerically? Yeah. I'm just going to guess and say okay. 600 right, or something. Cool. Yeah. Like 760, something around there? 750. Above 650. I'm going to say around seven. Seven? 700, 100. not seven. 800. 800. I'm trying to achieve for like at least 800. So 800 is perfect, but I think anything over 600 is considered a good score. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Generally speaking, 700 to 749 is considered good, and 750 and up is considered excellent. But ranges can vary based on the scoring model. Can you name the three major credit bureaus? Absolutely not. Oh, no. Not a chance. <laughs> uh, there's three of them, and I don't remember their names. Is one like Trans Credit, I think? Trans Equifax. Equifax, TransUnion, and. Nobody ever knows. Hold on, TransUnion, Equifax. Starts with T, I think. TransSyrian. Experian, yes. <laughs> the three major credit bureaus are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. What do credit bureaus do? They give credit to people, right? I guess they loan yeah. out money. Yeah. I know they help you with your credit. I know they can improve just like different aspects of uh, how to get a better credit score. They manage people's credits for maybe a national level, I want to assume. They have everybody in the United States and they have like some kind of calculation to where they get your credit. Credit bureaus collect information about your credit accounts and payment history and other information such as bankruptcies. That information is made available in the form of a credit report to certain third parties, such as lenders and creditors you've applied for credit with to help them evaluate your credit worthiness. What is a credit report and what information is in it? Um, I'm not completely sure. I'm sure it's like the credit score. <laughs> The things that people have of value that can be used as collateral. Judging your responsibility with money, I guess. I just know that everybody has a cute little credit report and it just tells you how much credit you have, what you owe. A credit report is a summary of your credit history and certain other information reported to credit bureaus primarily by your lenders and creditors. Your reports contain four types of information. Your personal information, name, address, payment history on your current and past credit accounts, a list of third parties who have requested access to view your credit report, also known as inquiries, bankruptcy and collections account information. Are parking tickets and library fines listed on your credit report? I have no idea. Maybe if you had a gazillion of them. I guess they possibly could. Yes. Yeah. They might have a small impact, yeah. As far as I know, no. Like maybe you stole like a significant portion of the library, but no, I highly doubt it. Typically, no. If they are unpaid and the information is sent to a collection agency, it may wind up on your credit reports. But Equifax does not include this information on your Equifax credit report, even if it's sent to a collection agency. Don't have all the answers when it comes to credit? It's okay, we're here to help. Get answers to your questions at www.equifax.com.